Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I have an interesting video. I'm going to show you all how you can set up two routers in a repeater mode. So what is the advantage of setting up two routers in a repeater mode? Uh, let's say you have one router sitting in your living room and you're getting very weak signal in your bedrooms and you definitely want strong signal and that too without connecting two routers uh, with the ethernet cable. Uh, so that can be achieved using a repeater mode. What you can do is configure both these router wirelessly so that the secondary router or we call it repeater router, it will take the connection wirelessly from the primary and, and boost that signal and that will enable all the devices, devices to get the better signal in the other spaces. So how to configure that we are going to see in this video. So let's stay tuned and watch this video till the end so that you can better configure this. If you get real value from this video, please do not forget to subscribe and like this video. So let's get started. Folks connect to the base station Wi-Fi network. For me, it's Netgear 13. I'm logging to the admin console. You have to go on 192.168.0.1 or 1.1. Folks, I'm going and accessing the advanced tab. Uh, this is for a Netgear firmware. If you have other firmware, you need to find out where you can see an option called repeating mode. Here in advanced setup, you can see the repeating mode. I'm going to click on radio button for that. So folks, you can use either of the frequency. You can use 2.4 gigahertz frequency and enable the base station. Or you can also go and use 5 gigahertz frequency that is 5G network. Here I am going to use 2.4. Here you can see when I click on that checkbox, it says that you shouldn't have a security set on the base station. That means your base station, that network should not have any password or a security standpoint, it should be none. So once you click OK, you can see you are coming on a wireless tab and you have to make the security option none. Folks also uncheck the enable smart connect so that it doesn't connect automatically to 2.4 or 5 gigahertz and click on apply. So guys, I'm going again and trying to click on repeater mode of my base station. This time it's saying auto channel it cannot have. That means I need to set a specific channel on my base station. So here I'm clicking OK and then it is coming to the wireless settings and in the channel you need to change from auto to 09. You can have any channel. Uh, just make sure whatever channel you are selecting on base station, you are applying the same channel on your repeater. Now let's go back to the repeater mode setup and base, click on radio button base station. Here you see disable wireless client. Because you have disabled the security, you have an option to disable the wireless client for connect from connecting. You can click on that checkbox. At this point, you will need a MAC IP of your repeating router. So let's get the MAC IP from the repeater router. I'm connecting to Wi-Fi of secondary router that's Netgear 25 and I'm going to the router's login page uh, which is an admin page for this router. Now you click on advance. On advance you see router information and the MAC address. Please note down MAC of the repeater router. Guys I'm going back to the base station Wi-Fi and into the repeater mode and Wi-Fi base station and applying the MAC which I have noted from my repeater router. That completes setup of base station. Now let's set up repeater router. Folks as I said we need basic parameters from base station. Let's copy them in a notepad. We need a MAC, MAC of the base station. We will need IP address, channel and subnet uh, which you will be configuring your repeater router in. I am logging to the repeater router's admin page now. So guys, you have to again go on advanced and advanced tab, wireless repeating function. You have to click on 2.4 gigahertz, which we have set on the base station. Once you click on OK, you will be directed to select the security here as well to none. And after that, you also need to change the channel we discussed to nine in the repeater router. After that, again come back to wireless repeating function and click on the checkbox of repeating. Now you need to input an IP address which is different than your base station. Already has 1.1 in a base station, so I'll make it 0.1.9. Uh, folks, you can see similar setting here as well. You can disable the wireless clients. 
Uh, now in the base station Mac, you can put the Mac of the base station. So copy that and paste it here. This completes the router setup uh, for repeater router. Now you can see on the right corner from no internet, the icon will change after applying the settings to the internet there. That's it for today folks. If you like the video, please do not forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.